Juice. Well, just when she finally gets the game point, she serves her second double. Advantage, Miss Sabatini. Finally, Gabriella Sabatini wins that game, and it would have, I think, had enormous psychological overturns had she lost it, because it was a long, tiring, hard-fought, and very well-played game. And just looking at that last point, you could see how hard these players had to work, and really it was the first time that Gabby has attacked from the net. Well, also, when they've been waiting so long to come onto this match with rain delay and... Uh the other well match and a half I mean actually they went very quickly which was good news for these two but you know you really need to work yourself into your match and uh, she started off that game with a double fault and there were a few hiccups in the middle but this is where I think that uh, Gabriella is such a mature player now and she has tremendous potential in all areas of her game and she's really a very thinking player. She's become really the most strategic player on the court. She goes out there and she plays differently against different opponents. Six quickly, please. Thank you. So that game took nearly 10 minutes, so they should be well and truly warmed up. Although, as I said, when you've waited around for a long time, it takes you a while to get into the match. There's no flashlight photography. Thank you very much. Yes, the usual request, and the light fairly gloomy, so it really does show up. Love one. Well, Jennifer 15. playing a good point, because that had been an awfully good wide slice serve, and <laughs> pretty accurate. Capriati does not quite agree with that. Well, that may have looked easy, but in fact, it was very dif diff difficult to control that shot. It was so close to the net. And actually in very good nick right here today. A couple of excellent shots just in this game. And Jennifer having to slow down a little bit just to get her pace at the same rate as Sabatini's, which is fairly slow. Oh, that's a beautiful lob. She 
takes all the time in the world with the shot. She decides obviously very early and just it soars right over her head and six inches in. How much better can you hit a lob than that? It's a flatter ball in uh, Sabatini who comes over the ball with tremendous topspin, sometimes off balance actually, Gabby, when she hits the shots. Gabby so much now because that is absolutely the right thing to do it was even better than it had to be but the short angle was absolutely the right choice game is 17 17 leads two games to nine. Well, what a marvellous start to this match. Two very competitive games. And Gabby just squeaking out of both of them. But having to work extremely hard. Love 15. That's the off backhand. Made a cross court from the forehand side on the backhand. I'm wrong it's this one that she's a little slow to pick up and then that's why she lofts it so uh, quite a perfect shot there from Jennifer both when they do manage to get to the net being very successful there but their depth of shot is not allowing their opponent to get there all that often She was forced into going down the line there because she could see her opponent covering the cross-court shot. Jennifer just making a perfect return and Gabby a tiny bit slow just picking it up but Jennifer hasn't been allowed to hit the ball that hard yet third successive game with break point Deuce. inexperience not making her opponent play the ball 